This is the future. Is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do an introduction to green screening. Yeah, I'm busy experimenting with it and I learned a quite a couple of stuff um, this last few days which I will share with you today and we're gonna see what the results look like. Because of the background that I always have an issue with when I do my recordings I needed something neutral at the back something that I can put and change as I want and you won't see what's actually happening at the back um, because honestly my study is dear makar right, it's very cluttered and it's very full and there's I think too many distractions happening on at the back so I wanted to do something neutral and um, I'm going to show you guys my setup because I'm starting from scratch. This is my day two that I'm doing this. Um, so I want to see what I can do. And I'll show you the end results. And also, not just green screening, I found out about motion tracking and some new effects that I downloaded yesterday. So I'm going to combine them all and you're going to see, we're going to have some interesting videos coming up in the future especially when I start doing my fire marshal training videos there's going to be some weird shit happening so stick around if you're interested to see what I'm doing let's get started so obviously the first thing you need is a green screen now I do not own a green screen but the kids do have a green fitted sheet that goes on their beds so this is the closest thing that I have to a green screen now where to put it so obviously I cannot put it there. I don't have a stand. I don't have um, anything. So I got the idea of using the cabinet and putting it on the cabinet. So let's do that first. And voila, my green screen. Not the best in the world. Now tip one, don't have any wrinkles. Uh, yeah, right. That's not going to work where I'm doing it because there's unfortunately no way I can get the wrinkles out. It's not on a, it's not one of those fancy ones. But trust me, the wrinkles is not too bad. You won't pick it up. You're not going to see it when I'm done. Then number two, get your lighting even. So this bit of shadow here, you want to get that shadow gone. It mustn't be there. So let's see what we can do about the lighting. I've got this light up here. So that at least is my headlight, which will separate the subject so uh, let us see if we can do something about that light we're going to simply take that one we're going to put that light maybe there somewhere and we're going to have it shine on the screen let's do that first um. okay guys now as you can see the lighting is much better i've got that light there that shines there and i've got my ring light that i'm going to use when i do the recording so the lighting is pretty even and this is not going to bother me too much, this wrinkles, because um, I'm going to cut that out, basically. So, now, remember not to have your subject wear any green. There shouldn't be any green on the subject. So, uh, hold on. Okay, guys, I am back. Now I'm standing in front of the green screen with my shirt on. I wanted to see what this does uh, when I remove the green screen, because I don't think there's any green in, but they say don't wear any yellow as well so it, this can also be affected by the green screen so um, yeah this is a bit of a might be a bit of an issue there's wrinkles here but you want to try and keep the green totally in shot so I might have to bend down a bit I'm going to have to adjust the camera a little bit and as you guys can see everything now is green that's what we want. Now, the first problem we have, there's a shadow. You don't want shadows, because if you cast a shadow, the shadow is going to be obvious in your background. So I might have to come a little bit forward. Well, coming forward is actually not so much as of an issue. It depends on whether I want to use gestures. So I can move this away a little bit. Oh, 
too much there. Let's do some adjustments. Adjust this down. And I can move back a little bit. Oh, that actually puts me quite into frame. And I don't think the shadow at the back is making much of a, a problem. So that's it. Now we can start the green screening. So I've got my screen. I've got the light. I've got my lighting on the screen. And now we're going to do the effects. And this is where everything went wrong. Uh, let me explain. There's something called spillage. It's when you're standing too close to the green screen, the green actually fell on your skin. And when you try to edit the video, you lose parts of your face and clothing. So please do not stand too close to the green screen because you're going to get green on yourself. Uh, let me show you. See here, side of my face is gone. And on this one, I've got color coming through my neck. And of course, my front teeth is disappearing. That's all because of spillage. Hi guys, so yesterday's filming was a bit of a bust. Um, you will see in the video, everything looked nice, but there was a lot of spilling. Um, spilling is when the green color of the green screen actually falls on top of your skin. You won't notice it until you do the editing. And that's why you'll see some artifacts all over my face, which I will show you now. So you really want to try and avoid spillage. So um, I'm going to try something new now. I'm going to move the green screen to the other side of the room and see if I can lift the screen up higher and see if I can't see it up a bit better and then we're really going to try this uh, masking technique and see if I can't get better effects of that and I'll show you what it looks like at the end well shit that didn't work either so we go back to the old position and we try technique number three masking okay guys so this is the best spot that I have available to me um, to do this green screen video. I am quite far from the, the, the screen so I don't think there will be any green spilling on me uh, as when I move back there I can see some green spilling on me already so this will be the best spot on the corner of my chair keep your gestures small I still have to keep my gestures within this space the video Welcome to my channel. This is Crypto. And what I can do now with my new effects that I've learned of, one is called masking, which you have now seen successfully. The other one that I'm doing is motion tracking. So motion tracking is for when you want to use certain effects. So I've like, for example, an energy ball and I can move it around a bit. And as you saw, the elements are following me wherever I want them to follow. So I can, for example, have so I can have a circle appear in my hand and push out a flaming palm like this. That's just some of the effects that I can do now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Not quite yet. Here are some epic files. Hand gestures, keep it small. This is Crypto. This is Crypto. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I can do that. And I can also have lasers <laughs> shooting out of my eyes. Or a fire breath. <laughs> some fancy shit, eh? Well, I hope you're going to enjoy the rest of the videos that I'm going to make because I'm going to definitely add some new techniques and stuff. If you like this video, then hit the subscribe button to join the Cryptonian family. Also, hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my further uploads. Give me a thumbs up, it will really help out this channel. You can also go and visit my website at www.cryptzone.co.za where you will find hyperlinks on all the pages except for the main page. The main page will show you exactly what the channel is about then if you're interested to see what's happening on the podcast page, you can go to podcast. 
On the CryptoZone live page, you should find out the time slots of my next live stream and what we have planned for the evening. And then on the CryptoZone YouTube channel page, you can go and um, subscribe directly to the channel, see what videos have already been posted and see what new projects I'm working on. Also, you can go to contact and you can email me if you have any questions. So thanks very much for your support, guys. Until next time, cheers.